In this video, we're going to talk about how to use the regression feature on the TI-84CE. And my calculator here is a little bit worn out here at the top, and some of the buttons are worn out, but I'll explain it as I go. So what you want to do here is you want to uh, first go to where it says stat, okay, for statistics. You press that button, and then where it says uh, one edit, you're going to press enter. And then you're going to see these lists here, like list one and list two. What you can do if there's numbers in there, just go ahead and arrow up to the top and press clear and arrow down, and that'll clear out the list. And then if you arrow to the right and then arrow to the top there, the list two, press clear and arrow down, it'll clear out that list. So for list one, what you would do is you'd put like your X coordinates of your points. So for example, I'm gonna press maybe one and two and three. And then say for our list two, we're gonna put our corresponding Y coordinate. So for, if it's the point one comma two, that would match up with the one there. And then for the next point, two comma four. And the next point, you can see three comma, let's just say seven. And you can put in as many points as you want. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to stat, okay, and we're gonna arrow over to where it says calculate. Now, depending on the type of regression you wanna do, you could do like a linear regression and find the line of best fit, or you could do quadratic regression, like find like a, a parabola or quadratic or cubic regression, quartic. Uh, you can even do like a natural log, like a logarithmic uh, regression, exponential regression there. You can arrow down and see the different types uh, that are available here. Power regression, logistic, sine. Okay, but let's just go ahead and just do maybe like an exponential regression. I'm going to press enter. And you can go down list one and list two. Those are lists that we're using, okay, for our x and y coordinates. And if you want to store that equation, that regression equation, what you can do is see where it says uh, vars right here? V-A-R-S, okay, right below these uh, arrow keys. Press that, and then arrow to the right where it says Y vars. Okay, and then number one is function. I'm gonna press enter, and I'm gonna press enter again for Y1, okay? And that's gonna save it under Y uh, equation one. And I'll show you where that's at in just a moment. And then if we arrow down to calculate and press enter, Okay, now you can see that it gives us the equation. You can see y equals a times b to the x power, and then tells us what our a value and our b value are. Okay, you can substitute those in and round if you want to get like an approximate answer. And notice that this r value, okay, which uh, represents like our correlation coefficient, that tells you how close that the graph is matching to those points. Now, if you're just using your calculator for the first time, or maybe you switch the batteries, and you're not seeing this r value, okay, this correlation, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to where it says catalog down here. Okay, see how it says catalog just above the zero button? And everything that's written above the buttons, you're going to have to press the second key. So I'm going to press second, and then I'm going to press this catalog button right above the zero. Okay, and so now you can see it brings up a list. Now I'm going to arrow down, just going to hold the arrow key, and I'm going to go down to where it says diagnostic on. Okay, so alphabetical. Diagnostic on is what we're looking for. And when we get there, we're going to just uh, turn that on. So see it says on. Okay, I'm going to press enter. And I'm going to press enter again. See it says done. So now when you go to do that again, let's just go and review. So stat, calculate. I'm going to go down to exponential regression. Okay, so that's number 10. Okay, enter. List one, list two, I'm just pressing enter. Store regression equation. I'm going to go back to vars, okay, variables. Uh, arrowed right to Y variables, function, enter, and enter again for storing it under list one, or Y1. Arrow down to calculate, press enter, and now you should see that R value, okay? Now, if you go over here to where it says Y equals, mine's worn out a little bit here, so Y equals, uh, it, see, it inputted that equation in there for you, okay? So, you know, now that's in there. And if you want to go to graph it, okay, upper right-hand corner graph, you'll see those uh, data points, okay, and then the graph. Now, if you don't see the data points, now I'm going to zoom in a little bit here, or actually, let me do this. Let me press zoom, and I'm going to press number six, which is a standard window, 10 by 10. And now when we graph it, see how it goes pretty close to those points. That's why it's a, a good correlation, almost a one, almost a perfect correlation. But what you can do, if you're not seeing that, is you can go to where it says uh, second, okay, and stat plot, okay, and you see how I have mine as plot on? Well, if you press enter, you can toggle between off and on. So you're gonna want it to be on, and then press enter, and then if you press 
second, and then the quit key right next to the second key, that takes you back to your home screen. And then if you press uh, a graph now, you should see the points and then the graph that's going through those points. Now, again, if you make a mistake anywhere along the way, again, you can, you can go back to the home screen by pressing second quit. You can go back into uh, where we had our data, which was under statistics, stat, and you can repeat that, that process. So I hope that helps you to uh, use your regression feature. And uh, I've got some more videos on the TI-84 if you want uh, more practice. I'll put a, a link to those videos on the screen, a uh, playlist that I have if you want to learn more about using the TI-84.